The thermostat is a critical component in the proper functioning of an internal combustion engine. Its primary function is to regulate the engine's operating temperature by controlling the flow of coolant through the cooling system. But it also plays a direct or indirect role in maximizing fuel economy, controlling emissions, minimizing wear and tear on engine components, and extending the longevity of the engine. Knowing all that, you might find it a bit surprising that cars didn't always have a thermostat. The majority of early automobiles utilized a cooling system known as a thermosiphon system. There was no thermostat or water pump. The hot coolant would rise upward through the engine, out through the upper radiator hose, and into the upper radiator tank. Water becomes denser as it cools, and as it did, it would fall downward through the radiator into the lower tank and then back into the engine. This type of system worked fairly well for the time, but as you can imagine, overheating was a problem. So the thermostat and water pump were necessary advancements as cars got heavier and more powerful. Early thermostats utilized a bellows system. Inside the bellows was a liquid that, when heated, would change into a gas. As the liquid boiled and changed to gas, the bellows would expand, opening the valve to allow coolant to flow. These were susceptible to failure, and they also were affected by pressure changes. This wasn't a problem early on because early cooling systems weren't pressurized. Once pressurized cooling systems emerged, the pressure that built in the system sometimes would force these shut and cause overheating. The solution was the wax-style thermostat. In this design, the wax changed from a solid state to a liquid, eliminating the pressure effect on the previous liquid-to-gas style. A piston in the wax pushed a rod that opened the valve. A spring was utilized to force the valve shut as the wax cooled and returned to a solid. This style of thermostat became the standard thermostat of the time, and by the 1960s, it was the primary thermostat in use for new cars, as well as a direct replacement for any that still had a bellows style. The overall design of the wax style thermostat has stood the test of time, but the concept evolved with the double valve thermostat. In conjunction with cooling system design, the double valve thermostat allowed more precise temperature control. To understand this, we need to delve into the concept of thermostat bypass. It's beneficial for coolant to flow through the engine when the thermostat is closed. This eliminates hot spots, allows the engine to warm up evenly, improves fuel vaporization, and allows sufficient warm coolant to flow past the thermostat so it opens when needed. Although various bypass designs were used on early thermostat-controlled systems, most American cars in the 1960s utilized an open bypass along with the traditional wax thermostat. Fuel injection, fuel economy, and reduced emissions demanded more precise temperature control, and that's where the double valve thermostat came into play. When the thermostat is closed, it allows all the coolant to circulate back through the engine to provide an even warm-up. As the thermostat begins to open, it allows some coolant to flow to the radiator, yet some to circulate back into the engine. When the temperature rises above a certain point, the thermostat opens fully, blocking the bypass and sending all coolant to the radiator. This overall operation allows the engine to remain at a very consistent operating temperature by preventing a drastic hot-cold change each time the thermostat opens. In the second video of this two-part series, we'll talk about more recent advancements in thermostat design. Thanks for watching.